It was an ordinary Monday morning, and as usual, I was balancing a hot cup of coffee in one hand and a stack of folders in the other. As an office assistant at the prestigious Adler and Fitz law firm, my life was a whirlwind of paperwork, phone calls, and let's not forget, shredding. You know, that mundane task most people detest? I kind of enjoyed it. It was a mindless activity that gave me a strange sense of satisfaction. This particular day, my task was simple, shred a pile of outdated, sensitive documents. The office was abuzz, everyone racing against the clock on a major merger deal. The partners had been burning the midnight oil for weeks, meticulously drawing up detailed contracts. Amidst this chaos, my job seemed easy peasy. Armed with my trusty shredder, I started feeding the documents into the hungry machine. The rhythmic hum of the shredder filled the room as I lost myself in the task. The thoughts of the weekend getaway, a book I've been wanting to read, my mischievous cat whiskers, they all floated around in my mind, as the papers kept disappearing into the shredder. In hindsight, I wish I had been more attentive. I wish I had realized that the important looking contract on blue paper was not meant to be in the shred pile. It was too late by the time I realized my colossal mistake. My heart sank as I picked up the shreds of what was an important legal contract. A contract that the partners had been painstakingly working on for weeks. The color drained from my face. I was sure I was going to get fired. A young woman in her early 20s, only a few months into the job, and I had just shredded weeks worth of hard work. The panic was real, and I felt a sense of impending doom. When the partners found out about the mishap, I was summoned to their office. I prepared myself for the worst, my hands trembling as I knocked on the mahogany door. As I confessed my mistake, their faces were unreadable. I could feel the tension in the room rising, almost choking me. But then, something unexpected happened. Instead of lashing out or firing me, they took a deep breath and said, Let's figure this out together, Samantha. Relief washed over me, but the ordeal wasn't over yet. The next few hours were intense. We huddled over the shredded documents, piecing together the contract like a complex jigsaw puzzle. The tedious task took hours, but to my surprise, they didn't complain or blame me. Instead, they rolled up their sleeves and worked alongside me, occasionally cracking lawyer jokes to lighten the mood. By the end of the day, the contract was almost whole again. It was a miracle, but one born out of teamwork, understanding, and resilience. So yes, I messed up, but I wasn't fired. Instead, I walked out of that office with newfound respect and admiration for my bosses, and a story that I'll never forget.